Up next on UBC. Brought to you by Hamam Spa and Salon. Drift to Serenity. The press has dubbed this gentleman the African Brad Pitt because he's got the looks. I call him a tall glass of hot chocolate to the ladies. My humble giant friend, Prince, is in the house getting over 200 credits uh, behind his name on almost every single movie you've ever seen outside there. Some time ago, I hosted him and we had this crazy arm wrestling of which he won. <laughs> And I don't think I'm even this close to winning it again because his guns have grown even bigger. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the best of the good life. I'm Drago and this is Chilling, proudly sponsored by Hamam Spa and Saloon. Sharifa is doing her job and she's going to make sure that my guest is going to get the best and ultimate pedicure that he has ever even dreamt of. Prince is a brand. And he's one of the people that is one of the sold out actors and models we have in this industry. You know, other people come with their Ramsey Nuas, Van Vika. He's taller, he's darker, and he's better talented than all of those. My brother <laughs> Prince, yo! <laughs> Dude, I should hire you as my hype man. Right? Man, I'm here lacking a PR job, <laughs> and you know, <laughs> I was crazy. Dude, Dude man, what are you eating? Well, <clears throat> I'm eating good food. Esther just said that we, if even if we dare try to have the arm wrestle again, there's no way of winning. Because I thought way. I was doing some great job, but man, okay. come on. Arm wrestling is here. It's what? It's a mind game. Ca can we go again? Here we go. Can you we go to? again? Can you we go to? again? You want I to? dare you, brother. Put, put the tea down. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Hey. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you tell Esther. This is how you tell that the guy is big, is really huge. When they get this caution off for him to fit on that set, <laughs> Prince. Dude, I'm not that big. You're that ah. big. <laughs> You're my humble giant friend. The last <laughs> time you, you came on Chilling, you came along with your daughter. Yes. How is she? She's great. She's, She's growing. Great. Oh, grown now. How and also old? having many credits of films to hand them now, so... 200, yeah? No, many, not... <laughs> <laughs> for her age, many. Because, yeah. you know, the apple doesn't fall away, I know, fall far away I from know. the tree. Uh, disclaimer, it's yeah. not me who put her there. Do you feel like, <laughs> do you feel like she feels pressured being on set? No, oh, it's no. It's just about she, having fun and being a child. She actually loves it. She actually loves it. I mean, for now, I think she's just having fun. Yeah. She's just having fun. Riding along, you know, I think... Because I've been with her to many sets, yeah. she just got interested and uh, I was like, you know what, let me just, you know, let her audition. And she auditioned, yeah. she got, she, she's, she's, she's got, uh, I think, two commercials so far yeah. and uh, two films. Yeah. She's doing the first TV series, she, you know, her first TV series. And then uh, she's got, um, she, she's got, uh, how do I term it? It's like... Uh, a, uh infomercial for hp oh yeah so i mean Wait, she's that's doing huge good. she's doing good that's huge yeah. a child actor because you're also one of them were you yeah. a child actor yes growing I up was. but ah. on stage it was stage yes i started on stage why don't you also i started actually get like involved in stage because i, I believe thespians uh, turn out to be better actors on screen i would love to get on stage yeah. any chance i get that's where i would want her to go because i know what stage does to a person you know stage makes you a better actor you know stage actually stage is like um uh, stage is like a chankwanzi course yeah of sorts if yeah. you want to be a leader you know what i mean yeah. like stage panel beats you to to the aesthetics to the basics and makes you a more disciplined actor right. and you really value the craft when you go through stage your chain is glittering they call me two chains 
when I'm not on stage. <laughs> For you, you just go to one. Change? You see, now it's two again is zero. I have two points, you have zero. You don't have any right now. Uh, offset, I'm called two chains. Dude, and you just dude one, one set. Yeah. Offset. For the record. Offset. That's off the record. Yeah. For the record. Uh huh. I'm better right now. Oh, <laughs> yo! <laughs> Yours is off the record. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, I give you that. <laughs> so, I bet. Who, who is managing your daughter? Definitely, it has to be you. It has to be me. <laughs> oh, Would no. you even dare let anybody manage her? Eh, eh? No. Why? Why? No. Why you don't have trust uh, in this business? No, I do trust the business. That's why I let her have. You know, like she goes through casting agencies, you yeah. know, because the management bit is quite bigger. Because when you let the casting agency manage a child actor, there's going to be a need for chaperones on set and all that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I come in in that bit. I'll let them like have her profile and do look for her jobs, cast her and stuff like that. But on and offset, I have to manage her because uh, I understand her better yeah. and definitely uh, when the director needs help, I'm yeah. there to help. And also, you know the industry. Yeah. Yeah, you've so, been here for quite some time. I mean, yeah, from, tra some time. from transforming from uh, a model to an actor. But I still believe you do both. On only that, yes. now your size is so daunting. Would you be a plus size model? Because man, ah. this guns, man. Well, if you talk about runway, I think that I've given it a break. Man, so. uh, congratulations. I've been seeing you everywhere. You're doing incredible things. Thank you. And recently, there is a movie that premiered on our network, uh, Order From Above. Order From Above. Congratulations Connie. with that. <laughs> Thank you. You know, um, I, I know you one of the actors I know in this country that doesn't feel pressure to transit from one character to another. Villain to a hero to a, you know. You can juggle all those characters. How do you do it? Oh, wow. Thank that's, you. I mean, that, that's, that, that's, that's special, kind of you. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I think it's, it comes down to the commitment. It comes down to, to loving what you do. And for me, along the way, I've learned to, to love what I do mm. and also put in work. Because if you don't put in work, then you have nothing to show. What I do usually, that's why I don't take like uh, quick jobs. Mm. I never take quick jobs. These mm. jobs of, oh, I have this script, we're shooting next week, it's a last minute. I don't care how much your money is. I'll turn you down. No, it I has know, happened I know you times. Have, I've heard rumors about yeah. you. I've heard I, rumors I, I about don't. you. They told me, no, with Prince, uh, no. It, it's not that quick. But why is it so vital for you to do that? To sit and first scrutinize a character and study it? Is it because you got criticized one time? No. Actually, I don't, I've not, I've not, I don't know of any criticism I've got way back ago when you did that stage oh play. the stage play it was just a very sentimental criticism it wasn't really professional artistic criticism you know what i mean that stage play it was also like a risk that i took in my career and i and i felt the risk was worth it because uh, as an artist i believe i'm a voice of the society yeah. i believe i am the one that can boldly come out and portray what's going on and at that time we had all these things going on uh the western world was dubbing us as killers of yeah. of, of a certain group of people yeah. and then when this story came up i loved it and why i love the story was unfortunately many people didn't get to see or read the story some because people don't, don't even know what you're talking about because what, what people exactly dubbed we, it i'm talking, talking about, about a play called the river and the mountain mm. this was a play that uh somebody in the press or some people in the press were quick to say it's a gay play mm. but trust me i have that script today if you read it you'll be surprised wow. the script had nothing nothing yeah to do with homosexuality at okay. all okay uh, i'm seeing <laughs> you're about to crack up because of how no, sentimental <laughs> the pedicure is now before yes. prince cracks up really bad and get ashamed on set we're going to go in for a short commercial break which i'll be back shortly this is her mom's spa and salute and uh you're watching chilling the best of the good life i'm jago don't please don't move an inch Relax. 
indulge, enjoy, and experience the beauty of relaxation. Feel pampered and rejuvenated with our unique state-of-the-art massage chairs and weight loss machines. Hammam Spa and Salon is located at Fairway Hotel. For bookings, contact us on Hammam Spa and Salon Drift to Serenity. He's a star, he's a sensational um, uh, blockbuster. He has been on every single screen movie that you ever wanna wish to see. But I rarely see him in series. What is it about you and being on regular series? Prince. <clears throat> if you watch National Geographic, you might have seen me in series. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch Discovery Channel, hey, you might have seen Simba. me in series. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, there was a series called Raise Wild on yeah. Discovery Channel. Yeah. And then there's one called, uh, the title has changed over time. It was yeah. called Kidnapped Abroad when you shot it. Yeah. And then now it's called Banged Up Abroad. I think now it's in many seasons. I was, I think, in the first season. Yeah. yeah, it's a story about tourists always getting trapped and kidnapped when they have traveled for tourism and stuff like that. So there was one that happened in the windy forest, you know. So, yeah, we did that one. What, where do you get the drive? I mean, you have a lot of movies that you've done and you have a lot that are coming up. Where do you get the tenacity and drive to keep on going? The fun. The fun? Yeah. Wow. It, you, you know, you're the first one to confess to that. For me, it's the fun. It's the cool. Like, having a script and loving it is just fun, you know. Getting out of the house to go have fun is the best thing, you know. Yes. It's, it's different from getting out of the house like, ah, oh, it's another working day. Yeah. You know, for me, it's like, yay, I'm going to have fun. Working so is fun. It's fun. If it's you're fun. really passionate and you know what you're doing. Yes. Because if people are given scripts, some people are given scripts and they find them so intimidating. See. The hardest thing is to deliver lines in front of a camera you know this <laughs> i know that <laughs> every actor's dream or every actor's wish is to have lines as their safety net as long as you can memorize the lines and then deliver and then also deliverance is a trick it is do uh, you have like a technique when it comes to your creative process preparing how do you prepare preparing. that's what i'm looking that's at the <clears throat> excuse me how i prepare is i get my script usually for me i do it in a different way when i get my script for example i'm with you yeah i get your lines before i get my lines Ooh. yeah always on set i i i have the other person's lines better I, than i, I have like my that. lines. Re reverse psychology yeah i do that <clears throat> and then i ask myself the question of why is he saying this to me yeah because if i say fine then you know your, your, your first thing you'll be, how are you? You know? Wow. And then I also know, like, for example, I, I, I would like to know what point, uh, what point is Drago in his life at this moment that these words come out of him? Because any words would come out of you at any moment. But why these ones? So it gives me the value of your lines. And then it gives me, that value gives me the emotion. That's the only way I can give it back to you. So that's how I do it. And also, I go back and create a history of my character. Mm. Yeah? And see how it relates to your character. And then it gives me... For me, that's always my safety net. And that's why usually... I, I do lose lines. But when I lose lines, I'm in a natural state. So it gets confusing sometimes even for the director. Yeah. You know, like, that's not the line, but... You yeah, know, it feels like it's the line, you yeah. know, so when you're prepared, yeah. you're not caught off guard. Yeah. And let, when you're prepared, you're let, having let me, fun. Let me tell you something you know? funny about me, especially when I come to lose my lines. Yes. I just laugh it off or smile <laughs> and stay cute. <laughs> so you can't even notice that I've forgotten a line. Yeah. Just stay cute. And that's the best thing to do, you know, because it's, it's, it's very bad for the audience to notice that you've lost Yeah, because line. once they, they sense the nerves in you, then they won't believe whatever is coming they from can't. you. Have you ever heard in your career so far, have you ever heard that dream role? Hmm. Oh, it's yet to come. 
I've, I've not yet landed my hands on it. Are you sure? Mm -mm. I'm Are still sure? searching. I'm still searching. I need uh, to in all the Matt, um, um, uh, Matt Bish movies, you <laughs> never had a dream role. Because that guy, man, <laughs> the way how he likes casting you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it's the working relationship. You know, it's just, w when I'm with him, uh, yeah. basically the work is easier. Yeah. So who doesn't want to, you know, you know, just have easy work. I mean, because we connected from the first film, yeah? yeah. And uh, we understand each other and we understand the work ethics. And, uh, you know, it's, it, he knows when he casts me, he's safe. Okay, what, you know? what is that one wish dream role? Have you ever thought of it or imagined <clears throat> it? A dream role. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if, if I would to use examples, yeah? Unfortunately, they're all going to point to DiCaprio. <laughs> Why DiCaprio? I, 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 love, I love the Shutter Island role he played. Huh. If I got that, I think that would be among my top dream roles. I mean, yeah. Why yeah. that particular? Why not? <laughs> That's Dude, that, Why not? Because, because just look at it, man. That, for me, it's the challenge of achieving that. Wow. The challenge of achieving a role is actually what makes me take the role. Mm. If any case a role I see is going to be a walkover, nine out of ten times I'll turn down that script. Yeah, because uh, I'm asking, has there been an incident where you've turned out a role? Yeah, many. When you've reached half production and then you'll be like, nah. Uh, no, I never quit. You never quit. I never quit. I, that's me. When I give you my word, it's my word. I'll see the project to the end. Hmm. There are projects where, like, terrible. Like, we fall out with the director and stuff, but I still keep there. Has there ever been an incident where you've fallen out with a director? Yes. Tell me Twice. About that. Tell me about that. Twice. And, and now the other project actually has been remade with a new cast. Yes. And it's premiering soon. Um... I think it was it was a case of disrespect and I don't like that. Not just me, but everybody else around me. You know, usually it's easier for me to contain disrespect against me, but I can't contain it when somebody's disrespecting people around me. It it just doesn't sit down because well. I've with interviewed me. directors before and they've come out straight to say that they really get challenges uh coping with actors in terms of their characters, in terms of their behavior. Because now they have two situations at hand. Mm. To manage the character character and then that individual person yes, that's and that true. becomes a challenge that's true i mean it depends on what actor you're hiring i mean some some actors i mean of course they do have problems and some actors don't know when to be them i mean they, them that was hired to act mm -hmm. and they don't know when to be the actor Indulge, enjoy, and experience the beauty of relaxation. Feel pampered and rejuvenated with our unique state-of-the-art massage chairs and weight loss machines. Hamam Spa and Salon is located at Fairway Hotel. For bookings, contact us on... Mom Spa and Salon Drift to Serenity. I swear, I swear, I have the money. Just not here, it's at home. I have no time for that. What you just ate here is a monthly salary. Now here's the deal. You are either going to pay my money right now, or I'm going to jump a huge book right in front of everyone. Chief, that's not necessary. I mean, Chibok is too extreme. Come on, I can. I, mm, I swear. What's the future for you? I mean, do what should we expect with Prince? <laughs> um, 
I think the future is bright and uh, I want to do Are many there more. any projects that you want to give a, a shout out to? <laughs> oh, um, maybe the one that I would give a shout out to is the project uh, November Tier. I, uh, I was the producer in this film. And, wow. Uh, it's a film that talks about life in Uganda targeting human trafficking. And uh, it's, it's a pretty good, decent film. It's not your first production as a person? No, I mean, I've, 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 I've co-produced, I've produced many films. Yeah. Um, I've co-produced with Matt Bish. You know. Yeah, of course, we all know, <laughs> we all know your buddies. <laughs> People are um, fighting to work with Matt Beach, but for you, you're well, just, he's good. yo, bro, where are you, bro? He's like, I'm here, Prince, and you just link up and just minutes, you're all together, working yeah, together. Yeah, he's, he's a great director. He is. I haven't landed on him, but uh, you tell him that I want him on my show. Oh, he'll be here. Thank you agent. very much for, uh, <laughs> for honoring me with your time. I know you're quite a busy guy. And, oh. Uh, yeah. And uh, I like it that the fact that, I, whenever I call you to appear on my show, you don't just turn me down and you just yeah. turn up. And yeah, thank you for staying a true father and being a oh, and, and, and honoring the spirit of uh, parenthood because it's, it's such a special thing you said. Yeah, it's a blessing. And uh, yeah, and uh, we want to see more great works coming out. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Order from Connie was a fantastic oh, one. Oh yeah. Yeah, we watched it. I was uh, even. I think I even tagged you on Instagram. Yes, yes, I saw. Yeah, it. because yes. I was glued. I was. Uh, <laughs> I'm okay. glad. I'm okay. glad. We are seeing a uh, uh, John Rambo. Ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't easy, but we did it. Okay. Uh, so um, anyway, thank you so much for having me. It's always an honor to be here. Yeah. I'm always glad to come, man. It's 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 always nice to chill. Did out. you did you enjoy your <laughs> oh. spa experience? <clears throat> yeah. Let me describe it. Okay. Because if I say yes or no, that will be cheating. Okay. <clears throat> Sharif, now. Sharifa should be here when they're <laughs> praising her. How, how can we scale Sharifa's hard work? From what is the scale? One to ten. Ten. And a half. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Sharifa, have you heard that? Yeah. You get For real. ten and a bonus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I... I Yo. I actually have never done food scrub. You're not alone. A and uh, there's also another guest I had. I've never had a, a scrub. Can you? I, I feel like I've lost just... seven kilos. Eh? Yeah, yeah, no, not not on your on your arm, but <laughs> on your feet. Your feet has actually grown smaller because of the bacteria. They got rid of. <laughs> Maybe I'm even shorter now. Oh ah, no, you can't be. <laughs> no, My humble awesome. giant it's prince. Awesome. You're gonna sign on our pillow. It's a culture here. Uh, Esther, thank you very much. Sweetheart, thank you. Do you want my real signature, my fake signature? We want the real one. The oh one my God, you it's on huge. A, on a check. Take your it's space. Huge. And the pillar is also uh, huge as well. Take so, your time. And uh, I think Elijah will get a, a closer screenshot for, on that. You can sign from anywhere you want. You can even twist it to corners and sides. Yeah, I yeah. need my space. <laughs> you need your space. I need my space. I'm royal. <laughs> Just so, because oh. you're a giant, you think you'll be bullying everyone. Eh? I'm not bullying anyone. I By the way, how have you managed to stay humble? That's um, one thing that I wonder all this time. I mean, <laughs> you, uh, you, you are a global sensation, but you're so humble and down to earth. And thank you. Um, first of all, I think... Uh, for me, humility is something. Uh, my dad was a humble giant as well. Yeah. Um, my mom was a beater, so you can't. You can't. Uh, the values that were instilled in me are really strong, and I come from a very Christian family. So, humility is like. A you are virtue, actually not joking you know. when you said your signature is long. Yeah. I and was. you look like you're still. Yeah, right. I am. I'm still. Prince, come on. I am. What's the date today again? You what? What's the date today? 31st. Wow. Okay. But you, you definitely know that we're going to air this episode later on, right? Today? No, today. Hey, hey. Ah, no problem. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me sign for you. As if he's signing you. for money. I'm telling you, Prince, and his things. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that's really cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. Told you. <laughs> I'm sure that I've seen that. <laughs> there we Thank go. You, eh? Let Let's me see? look at this. 
Ha! Okuyo, you forgot the prince. It's right there. You have no space. P. All right. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, this feels good. I, I would love to also thank our audience. You guys have done it. I mean, staying glued for all these 25 gigantic minutes. Full of action packed, left, right, and center. And Prince has made it just worthy. Until next time, we return with another excellent episode. And we're at Hammam Spa and Saloon. Come here at Fairway Hotel and check out what I always keep on preaching about. Bye and uh, have a nice evening. <laughs>